everyone， 大家好，我叫 Karis， 今天我是你的中文老师。My name is Karis， and today I am your Chinese language teacher. Let's get started. 我们开始吧。Today we are going to go over the sentence structure in Mandarin of subject, 是 noun. It's important to note that in basic Chinese sentence structure, the structure is actually the same as English. So a sentence in Chinese would be the subject, the verb, and then the object. That's the order, and it's that simple. Allow me to give you some examples of how this sentence pattern is used in Chinese. For example, if I wanted to say, "I am a teacher" in Chinese, I would use this sentence pattern. I would use 我 as the subject, 是 as the verb, and the noun would be 老师 which of course means teacher. So this translates as I am a teacher. 我是老师 Now maybe I wanted to say that that person over there is a student, except maybe I would just say he is a student. We would use the same pattern. We would say 他是学生他是学生 is how we would say he is a student. We can also use this sentence pattern to say many other things. If I wanted to say that I am a doctor, I would say 我是医生 Or if I wanted to say that I am an American, I would say 我是美国人 Or if I wanted to talk about someone else's nationality, and I wanted to talk about my friend who was sitting across the room, I might say she is Chinese. In Chinese, the way that I would say this is, 她是中国人 You can see that this basic sentence structure of subject, 是 noun is really, really useful, and it can clarify a lot of questions. Which, speaking of questions, if you have any, feel free to comment below. But until next time, 再见。